Hello everyone and welcome back to 118 Survival Episode 2. So today we're going to finally get into some building. I have an awesome idea for our house build, but it's gonna take a ton of acacia logs and deep slate to pull it off. I have a bunch of material gathering to do, but first I may really need to get a storage room set up because my inventory is getting a bit messy and you guys know me i can't do a messy inventory nope so i need to take care of that so let me show you i have an idea here so in the last episode i talked to you guys about how the house build's gonna go right here on top and how i wanted to have a little pathway coming down and around and having a mine entrance right here but i was thinking what if we had it in here so we'll just have to dig out a little hole in here it would be like a basement a storage basement right under the house and we can build a tunnel because <clears throat> you guys remember that cave the hole in the ground yeah that one well i was thinking we can turn that into a quarry so that will be our main mine and we can make a tunnel from this little mine to the big mine underground railway i think yes i have some digging to do and a little bit of terraforming because i want to take out these trees right here and kind of get a pathway going from up here down and around and also around this way as well so let's get started and jump into a little time lapse just in here huh? there's a wandering trader hello huh? what do you have what does he have oh corn yeah. block not a little ah. shove vines Ooh, melon seed i think i want this i have uh -huh. one emerald you guys one oh my gosh hold on let me go grab it where are you uh -huh. Okay, good. Sir, I will take ah. your melon seeds. Oh, 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 ah. no, I want your leads. Ah. Where'd he go? <gasps> I want the. Maybe this was a bad idea. This was. Oh, this is a bad idea. Okay, I'll just let them leave. <laughs> I spy a lead. <laughs> I will take that. What happened to the villager? Is he just... He just left you guys. No, he's down there somewhere. Oh, the lead's just broke. Well, <laughs> I want you. Come here. And... I'm gonna take you... Too. Come on. My llamas now. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Hello, llamas. We got llamas! Where's this villager? Hello, traveling villager. Oh, he doesn't give you experience. Okay. So I just got my storage room set up. Doesn't it look awesome? Okay, I did do a little decorating. Just a little bit. But I think it looks great and it's gonna do just fine for now. Eventually we'll need bigger storage but for now this works and I got everything organized. I also did a ton of tree chopping on our little tree farm over there. So we got some more dark oak, even got a bunch of spruce, oh uh, there's nothing in there. Um, and a bunch of sugar cane because a lot has grown and I think it's already all grown out there already again. But we have plenty for now. 
got some more food and we got melons because of the melon seeds from the trader and I went and got some spruce leaves and regular leaves and just kind of decorated it up in here. I'm debating on which one I like. I think I like the dark oak leaves better than this spruce, but I'm not sure yet. I like how dark they are because we're in the swamp biome. What do you guys think? Spruce or dark oak leaves? Hmm, let me know in the comments. So, the idea for this is I'm gonna have some smelter automatic smelters on this side and on this side, so I do need to make some hoppers for those right here. This is where the little mine entrance is going to go. So we're gonna have it like either going down and this one coming up, whichever. So I'm gonna need to dig down right here and we're definitely gonna be doing a little bit of mining because I need some diamonds. Yes, and just more general ores and deep slate. Deep slate is a must. So while I was chopping down all this wood, I went ahead and just went into a little cave. Okay, a little one that did kind of turn into a big one, but I got some iron because I was, I went so, I went through so many stone axes. Oh my gosh, I couldn't handle it anymore. So I just went ahead and went and got some iron, uh, about a stack and I, because I made some lanterns, as you guys can see. But what do you guys think? Do you like the storage room? And also, give me give me your thoughts on the leaves. Which leaves should I put in here? Or keep them both? Maybe I can do that. Spruce and dark oak. I don't know. Let me know. Next on the list, you guys. Oh, hello, llamas. I need to get some more animals. And as I originally said, I wanted to put the farm over here I mentioned that in the first episode but I had a change of mind because hear me out I think it would be really awesome if we had an enchanting area over here instead so we can build a really cool structure like a really tall structure maybe a huge tower of some kind that's similar in style to the house that we're gonna do right here and then we can build a bridge from the house across this over to the tower yep i think that will be awesome what do you guys think the wit said i want to put the farm over here yep over here and our base is just right back over there so that's where the house is gonna go right here that's our little tree farm we set up and the storage is right over there you can see into it so we can fill that with glass or even make a little dock coming out. I think that would be pretty cool. And then we can build a bridge just right here. Yep, like a gothic -y kind of style bridge with tall arches and everything and I think it would look really cool. All the ideas, but first I need leather. That is important. So I'm gonna get these pins set up real quick, just right here. Nothing pretty, just your basic animal pen. Let's go. animal pins done we did manage to get one pig pinned in uh but i don't have any carrots so we can't really do anything whoa uh -huh. Uh -huh. no thank you those leads though do we <laughs> i think i think i'm gonna i'm gonna leave these guys alone yeah yeah i'll leave them be all right i have a few things that i did that you guys didn't see. I did some more terraforming and I made a little lily bridge. Let me show you. This right here used to be filled in and I went ahead and just terraformed it a little bit because I'm thinking I wanna put like a barn structure up here on the hill 
and I figured we can do a little staircase down or another structure right here but make this kind of a little boat dock of some kind and then we can have another boat dock over there by the storage room I think that would be pretty neat to have so I like that idea and there's the lily bridge just something temporary right now so it's easier to get across from my base to the animal pens it does what it needs to right now when we make the bridge we can remove all these but let's go ahead and get back down in our storage room because I really need to go mining it needs to happen you guys so I'm gonna dig all the way down right here until we reach either bedrock or 59 negative 59. So I've done some research and I guess negative 59 is the best place to find diamonds now and also according to John's comment it is as well. Thank you so much for the info. We have some digging to do. So we are down here at negative 11 and I just came across an, a big cave. There's skeletons down there and I just literally watched one shoot itself to death. After it died, I went down the water. There's another skeleton down there and I think I saw my first diamond. So we got to go down here. Let's, let's go. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, right there. You see them? Oh, they're right there. Okay. I can't, uh, I can't see. I can't see. Oh, oh, bad idea. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have, I have no... Where's my torches? What? Oh my gosh, that was... Why is it so dark? I don't like this. Oh, there's a creeper. There's a skeleton. Oh, it's not safe. It's not safe. Not safe. Not safe. Not safe. Uh, think, 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 think. Let's go this way. Diamonds. <gasps> the first diamonds, you guys. And it's in this big cave. Oh. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh. A lush cave. <clears throat> yes. Oh my gosh. Diamonds and a lush cave. Gold mine down here. Ooh, look at it. Glow berries. Oh, we're gonna have to get all the moss. I wonder how big it is. Uh, this is very dangerous. I feel like I'm gonna die. Like, this is the point in my world where I have my first death. It's gonna- oh, creeper. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so beautiful. So pretty. Okay. You're standing on my diamond, sir. Okay. We need a bow. This is way too dangerous, you guys. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. This is the big nope for me. I can't. Oh, okay, we'll come back for you. <laughs> I'm not able to get a bow, but next best thing, death by lava. <laughs> um, die, die, die. <laughs> Got him. We're gonna build a bridge. The only thing that can get up here really are spiders. Oh! <gasps> Look at- there's a geode over there. Oh, all the things are down here. Yes, yes. Huh, no. It's such- it's such a dangerous place though. Mm -hmm. You wanna die by fire? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> ah! What's up there? Oh, <gasps> Diamonds! Oh my gosh, yes. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. You guys, we made it to some of the moss. Nice. Oh, oh, hold on. I need to be safe. It is so dangerous down here. Is it just one? It's just one. But diamonds! Only one, though. It's okay. We have a good vantage point. Oh, 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 oh. Baby zombie. Oh my gosh. There's a baby zombie with armor on. Enchanted armor. <laughs> Why? Oh, diamonds! Oh, nice! Okay, perfect. How many? <gasps> Two? Three? 
Oh, four, five. Ah. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh six. Oh my gosh, that's so lucky. Nice. Seven diamonds, you guys. We didn't even set up a mine. This is awesome. Um, now the question is, do we keep going? I still do need a lot of deep slate, so we'll just make a staircase down this way to 59 and then keep going. When I get better gear and everything, we can actually set up those water elevators. Let's just continue on. <laughs> That was a lot of deep slate mining and with an iron pick. It does make a nice sound though, won't lie. Nice ASMR deep slate mining. But let me show you how much we got because I got a lot. Ta-da! We got a full chest of deep slate. Oh yeah. This is gonna come in very handy because I'm gonna use probably about half that maybe i'm not sure yet but a good amount for the house build alone it, it's a lot it's very much needed this amount and we won't have to go deep slate mining for a little while which is good i don't want to go back without a diamond pickaxe never again <laughs> but the fun doesn't end there. I still need a bunch of acacia logs. I need to go chop down a savanna. But luckily, there's one right near spawn. So we don't have to do a lot of traveling. Should be quick and easy. That was quick. Now we have a ton of acacia logs for the house build and the tower. I think we may have enough for that, but I got saplings now. So I did go ahead and plant some out there in our tree farm, which we'll eventually have to move as well. I'm not sure where we'll move the tree farm to, but we'll put it somewhere. Oh, I need sand. We got some sand. I only needed it for glass, so we didn't need that much. But it's time to build. So the house build is going right here. It's going to be pretty tall, and I'm going to be using a lot of deep slate, hence the deep slate mining. Let me show you the palette. So starting over here, we have your lovely dirt floor scaffolding because I don't have any bamboo yet. We have all of the deep slate, deep slate tiles. We have some polished and brick in here. The polished and brick are mainly for texturing, which we'll do later, but mainly tiles for now. We got all of our acacia logs, which will be for the house walls and the dark oak wood for accenting. Let's get into our final time-lapse of this episode, the house build.
in love with this house. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Now I want to give a huge thank you to the Transcendence Minecraft project whose gothic gateways I saw on Pinterest inspired the house roof peak. You guys can see right back there. I love it. It's beautiful. Thank you all so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll get into some more building and hopefully enchanting. But thank you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, be kind, stay beautiful, and don't forget to smile.